guys so because i do have a couple of videos on anti-aging i figure we really have to talk about ampk and mTOR and especially how to combine the two because this is the challenge What is AMPK? So this is basically an energy sensor in our body. It's a pathway that becomes activated whenever there's too little of, for instance, energy, uh, nutrients, and um, this is a very interesting pathway because it leads to autophagy. And autophagy is the cleansing out of all of these uh, waste products that we don't really need anymore and so these waste products are taken to uh, the lysosomes where they're basically uh, put into their uh, um, essential building blocks and these building blocks are then used by the cell to build other things like proteins become amino acids that later on become available for the cells to use. So uh, autophagy is very important. We really want that activated a lot of the time. Actually, most of the time, but not all of the time. Uh, another benefit of AMPK is that it actually stimulates uh, CERT1. This is the sirtuin, sirtuin 1. And this leads to a reduction in inflammation which is always good. Reducing inflammation is awesome in your body in general, as inflammation leads to aging in different ways. Uh, it also stimulates FOXO, which also reduces inflammation. So um, uh, these are the ma maybe the main benefits of activating AMPK. It also lowers blood, you have low blood sugar, so um, it's, it's what you want most of the time. However, this is not an anabolic pathway, it's a catabolic pathway. So it will not help us build things. This is, uh, so whenever AMPK is activated, uh, a lot of mTOR becomes inhibited. And whenever mTOR becomes activated, AMPK becomes inhibited. It's not a clear cut always like this in all instances, but a lot of the time it is. So uh, the, the catabolic pathway is uh, the AMPK that leads to autophagy and is awesome. How do you activate it? So you activate it by fasting, for instance, because this is a way of removing nutrients and energy. And so automatically you will activate that. Mm, high intensity training also activates it. And then there are, uh, there's a bunch of different substances. There are people who like taking metformin, which is a drug. Uh, it has been used in diabetes. And it has this positive effect of lowering uh, or uh, of activating AMPK. And so it becomes uh, sort of healthy. But still, it's not a natural substance. It's a drug. So uh, the question becomes then, well, are there any natural substances that activate AMPK? Maybe even as strongly as metformin? Well, actually, berberine is one of those substances that is almost as good as metformin when it comes to the activation of AMPK. And then there's a bunch of different substances that do also activate uh, AMPK to some degree. You have green tea, you have um, uh, curcumin, these are, or turmeric, curcumin, um, these are very uh, well known. Uh, what else do you have? You have ginger, you have quercetin, resveratrol also activate this. Uh, you have uh, 
ginseng, you have bitter lemon, uh, bitter melon, sorry, <laughs> not lemon, bitter melon. Um, what else? Um, uh, bergamot, so Earl Grey tea, remember? Uh, what else? Um, uh, you have D, uh, uh, DHA, EPA, also activate that. You have uh, apple cider vinegar. So all of these are examples of substances that can help activate AMPK and sometimes even lead to a, a light autophagy. But remember, if you want to go into really deep autophagy, uh, you're going to have to do fasting and not just one day. It's going to have to be a few days, a couple of days of fasting to go into deep, profound autophagy. But still, uh, activating uh, autophagy a little bit uh, every day uh, through these substances can be quite helpful. Okay, so this was AMPK. Let's talk about mTOR. So mTOR. mTOR is a little bit the opposite of AMPK in the sense that it works in an anabolic way. Instead of catabolizing, it helps to build our body. Build what? Well, it definitely helps to build muscle, yes. It's an anabolic for our muscles. But the thing that I find really interesting is that it also helps keep our stem cell populations healthy so that we can replace other parts of the body. Even cartilage can be better replaced, but only if we keep mTOR active at least some of the time. And this is what we want some of the time, not all of the time. So uh, what activates mTOR? Uh, it's whenever we eat. And so uh, there's a lot of energy available and insulin is one of the activators. It, so our, our, when we eat something, insulin levels go up and we activate mTOR. Uh, another thing that is essential and maybe the main activator of mTOR is protein or amino acids or in particular leucine uh, and arginine. So these are amino acids that seem to be major activators. Uh, it's interesting so leucine, for instance, uh, you find a lot of in animal products. And so here's what happens. For most people, when uh, they eat what is a, a regular diet, they will be eating dairy products and, and meat. And in dairy, you find four times as much leucine as you find in human milk, for instance. And so the mTOR pathway will always be activated, especially if you're eating throughout the day. Start early in the morning and maybe have a late night snack uh, in the evening before you go to bed. If you live like this, eating throughout the day until you go to sleep, and eating um, a lot of protein, then mTOR will be activated pretty much most of the time. And so this is the main problem for, for most people, that they want to deactivate it and they want to activate AMPK. Because uh, if you don't activate AMPK, then you will never clean out and so you will, uh, you will have a lot of waste products, in a sense, everywhere in your body, and you will not be working optimally. This is not healthy, it doesn't lead to uh, health, and it doesn't le lead to longevity. In fact, uh, a, a activated AMPK over uh, long periods of time leads to longevity and health. However, if you exaggerate and if you are always activating AMPK, then you're going to run into problems as well. What kinds of problems? Well, the stem cell populations of some 
parts of your body may not be as healthy and so you might not be able to replace things. Uh, your muscles might not be as strong, you might have trouble building muscles. And if you're older, this is a big problem, because as you become older, it's easier to lose muscle mass, and this is critical, especially for older people. So for instance, exercise is great for everyone, but is essential for older people. So. Uh, muscle mass is important and as you get a little bit older you have to make sure that you do activate mTOR. Again, having mTOR activated all of the time is not healthy, but you have to activate it sometimes. So how do you do that? How do you combine? How do you know how much uh, you should activate it? So this will depend on your lifestyle, your age, but here's an idea if you want to try it. So at least twice a week, make sure that you're uh, fasting for about 20 hours. So this is the warrior diet, you could say, the um, uh, intermittent eating, <laughs> where you fast for 20 hours and then you have a four hour window in which you eat. And uh, do this maybe twice a week and to, to really make sure that you, you uh, do the best you can towards the end of this 20 hour period of fasting exercise high intensity exercise uh, this uh, is a great way of really going deeper, a little bit deeper into autophagy and uh, and activating AMPK as well as you can. So doing this twice a week is great. And then the rest of the time, make sure that you do have maybe at least 14 hours each night that you don't eat when you don't eat, right? So 14 hours without food. And sometimes here you can, you can switch. Maybe one day you go 12 hours without eating. Maybe the next day you go 16 hours without eating. That's okay. So being flexible and changing so that you don't always do the same thing every day is a positive thing. Now, because you have this, these periods of not eating and eating, your body will slowly train itself uh, so that it can quickly switch between burning fat, which it does when you're fasting, and burning uh, other types of fuel if you're eating a regular type of diet. Okay, so that's the first thing. Make sure you do some type of intermittent fasting uh, or uh, time-restricted eating, maybe that's, that's uh, a better way of saying it, so that you have a window of fasting that is 14 hours every day, except for two days in the week where you go 20 hours without eating. So this is, uh, this is one idea. This way you will have AMPK activated most of the time. You will be going a little bit deeper into autophagy. However, you will also have your feasting time where you definitely activate mTOR. So, uh, also another um, tip here. So, if you do take your mm, berberine or green teas or turmeric or whatever it is uh, that you enjoy taking that actually does activate AMPK, make sure that you don't take it whenever you're supposed to activate your mTOR, right? So if you have just fasted 20 hours and you've done this super workout at the end and then you're starting to eat, don't start by taking your turmeric and your uh, green tea extract and your whatever it is, uh, berberine. Let your body actually go into mTOR. Uh, have a bit more of protein and really go into mTOR and then take these uh, as, uh, as you're going into your fast, your AMPK 
uh, boosters. Take those as you're going into your fast, not when you're starting to eat. Right now, I'm, uh, I'm switching over most of my things to Patreon. And so I will be making all of my books, for instance, available uh, for my Patreons and all of the other products that I have created, I'll be putting them on Patreon instead of having them in other places. So this is my project right now. If you want to check it out, uh, go ahead, uh, visit my Patreon side. Uh, but uh, this is right after Christmas holiday, so you've probably spent a lot of money. Money you probably didn't even have. So whatever you do, don't go to my Patreon side and uh, and sign up yet. Whenever you have the the money and feel that um, it's not a problem for you, uh, you're most welcome. But this is it for today. So thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.